I'll tell you something else about Muddy Waters I bet you didn't know. What with living life on the road from hotel to motel and all, he just loved to watch the soap operas on TV. I don't know if he liked horse operas, you know, westerns, but we sure liked him. He was a real natural-born man of the blues. And we were men of the TV West, the Gunsmoke camera crew. So one morning in 1971, I rounded up my boys, grabbed some 16-millimeter cameras, and hit the road. Why? The great Mississippi Delta King himself, Muddy Waters, was on tour with an incredible lineup of blues stars. Big Mama Thornton, who recorded Hound Dog before Elvis and wrote Ball and Chain, the one Janis Joplin made famous. George Harmonica Smith, a West Coast stylist in the mold of the great little Walter, and blues shouter Big Joe Turner, a true original who helped lay the groundwork for rock and roll. Like I said, we loved the music, so we just had to go. It's a long way from shooting cowboys and horses to filming some of the greatest living blues legends, but we did it. And here it is now, all these years later. We never filmed anything like it again. Just went right back to our cowboy shows as if nothing had happened. But looking back, I'm sure glad we were there. Because we captured something raw and vital. A perfect moment on stage with these legendary artists. And to my mind, you can't do any better than that. Grow the day. 
to do a number that, ladies and gentlemen, I wrote myself.
No money about at least about 15 years. Some 50. 15. I say from 52. Yeah, yeah. Where'd you meet him now? Atlanta, Georgia. Atlanta, Georgia. Yeah, and that's the time I was throwing microphones up like this with one hand. Mm -hmm. Buddy said, Who is that? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody said, That's the lady put out the hound dog. That's it. So, here I am today with another big smash with a young lady called Janet Joplin, <clears throat> which I wrote, which it made a hit that I did myself, Ball and Chain. Who wrote Ball and Chain? I did. Willie really Mae Thornton write Ball and Chain? Right on. I get a check off of it every once in a while from BMI. I know you do. Right on. <laughs> I know you do. So, fagging it. I get to check off a ball and chain from Janice. I get a ball and chain off of me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Say, Way baby. Out there. Yeah, been at the there. Let's go on down here to Eugene and tap the joint. <laughs> We're doing all right. Gonna have a lady, baby. Who in the world? You gonna tear him up? I'm gonna look at George Smith. <laughs>
Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. I wanted to come back anyway. Excuse my voice, I'm really hoarse, but I'm gonna make it anyhow. Yes, I'm leaving, I'm leaving Chicago. Lord, I believe I'll go back home. I gotta find my baby Lord, you know I'm tired of living all alone Again, you see it. Well, the women is pretty. The red light getting wide open. Yeah, a lot of fun. Always laughing. Right. And then he'd bring the girls up to the bar and he'd buy them drinks. And he'd say, yeah, look out there, girl. Look, Joe, Johnny. I'll tell you, now I'm going to put a water in that stuff, yeah? What water? I see you ain't refusing. Well, I ain't the type. Hello there. Hey, you got it riding and rolling the people and hiding. Everybody 
gonna be all right. How you gonna be there now? What well, is the key of C? Come on, little baby, the hot and go seek with me. Come on.
Rádio Beisper. Church That's what I told him. He, he showed who talk. Talk too much for me. He just passed the box. He don't drink nothing. And you're from Chicago, right? I was born in Mississippi. Oh, you're born in Mississippi? What? Right. You spent a lot of work in time. Uh, yeah, I've been in Chicago for quite a few years, but I was born in Mississippi. Oh, we joined the state, so shake in, brother. Right no together. wonder we got together. Right together, sister. <laughs> right together. Well, what was it like? Tell me something about that. About Mississippi? Well, about where you're from there, Mississippi. <laughs> I was born in a little town called Rolling Fork, and I was raised up in uh, Clarksdale. I was raised up out on a farm on a plantation. You know. uh -huh. So I lived a country life for a long time. A little rough, but yeah, yeah. came through it. Big family? Yeah, big family. How many children? Oh, I got uh, five brothers living now. <laughs> but I wasn't with them. I was, my grandmother raised me, you see. Oh, I see. Yeah. My grandmother raised me up in. Uh, Everybody had to work, didn't they? Everybody had to work, you know. Because I, know. I don't let little kids, 10 years old, out there working, you know, on the farm. Yeah. On the farm you know. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> A lot of the young folks today maybe didn't have to work that hard, you know? I don't think so. I know they didn't. They had to work hard as I did, you know, because my kid didn't work like I did. You know. My kid had to change with school. I didn't have no much schooling, you know? Right. Uh, well, my kid don't know what work means until they got up big enough to work, you know, old enough to work and come out of school. That, but, uh, but I've been on my own for a long time. Where so did now, you first get, get to the music? I got, I began it in Mississippi. I first started the blowing the harmonic. Yeah. And then later. Just, just a boy, huh? Just a boy. I, 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 I think I started at about nine years old. When I was 13, I was doing pretty good with it, you know? And, and I became about 17, 18, I switched over to guitar. And finally, in 1943, I brought it to Chicago. Sorry. 
man Just me, my mate Y'all know I'm made to moon, honey Come up two hours late Wasn't that a man? Yeah. I spell him yeah. A child Second cousin, that's little John the Congaroo. Oh, you little girl, setting out that line. I can make love to you, honey, and five minutes time.
People, I was down in my neighborhood one day, and I was talking to some friends of mine. They all were standing on the corner. They were laughing at me. Said another view. After a while, after a while, after a while, after a while, I went back home like a good man should. I put my hand in my pocket and got my key out and unlocked the door. And there stand my wife, she was crying. She said, I know the view. The little girl was jumping up in the floor. She patting her hand together. She looking straight at me. And she was saying, 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 she was saying, money was. Another mule is kicking in your stall.
black cat bone. I got a mojo too. I got the Johnny Kangaroo. I'm gonna mess with you. Gonna make you girl. Leave me by my hand. Then the world.
Big Joe a nice time of applause, Vice. I want to thank you. 
Tell us about Hound Dog. Everybody knows Hound Dog, and very, very few people know about it. How did it all start? What happened? Well, I was cutting a record called uh, My Man Called Me This Morning, and, uh, and I cut another number book called uh, Let Your Tears Fall, Baby. While I was in the studio at Hollywood Studio, Jerry Lever and Michael Strollin came in with it on a piece of paper bag. And so I had already cut what I had cut. And so they say, hey, can you sing this? I said, I don't know. So I just picked it up and looked at it. As I say right today, God bless the dead. Pete Lewis, the fellow was playing guitar, he's passed on. And I was just hollering, you ain't nothing but a hound dog. And he started playing, and his amplifier went haywire. So now they got to hook him up direct. So he had on his ear muffles and everything. They took one take of it, and that was it. The big hit of 1953 when they released it. What about Elvis? Did he give you anything for Hound Dog? I never got a dime. You mean you didn't even get a box of Jericho? I didn't even get a box of nothing. <laughs> you didn't ever say hello to you, you know, did he tip his hat? Did he do something? Well, he refused to play with me when he first come out and got famous. Oh. They wanted a big thing for Big Mama Thornton and Elvis Presley. He refused. Mm. <laughs> and I... I'm so glad I can tell the world about it. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's one thing we're going to do. We're going to tell the truth. Well, that is the truth.
lawyer called 19 years old. I hope you can like this one. This is going out to Debbie.
She may cut you, she may 